Hello, all my fit friends. Welcome back to Wow Body Now. Today we have our circuit sweat fest, Instagram made me do it style. Grab your dumbbells and let's get warmed up. Cheers to an awesome workout, everyone. Okay. Let's get going with our warm up. If you have a fitness tracker, don't forget to turn it on. Let's push play here. So we're gonna start with knee tucks. So like I just said, today we are doing an Instagram made me do it circuit, sweat fest. The first circuit, I got the exercises, the circuit from Eric Lasia, who is at Primal Swolger on Instagram. The second circuit I got from Ashley Horner. And then the third circuit, the final one is actually me. I made that circuit up, so it's gonna be really good. Start with little kicks forward, just like that. Reaching opposite hand to foot. So each circuit, we're gonna do three rounds. And so three different circuits of three rounds. It'll be a total of a little bit more than 30 minutes by the time we're done. So just put your head down, get that game face on, and let's get ready to work hard. Yes, okay, we're gonna do Kozak squats. So step nice and wide, all right? Lean over to one side, go as low, as deep as you can. Woo! And then switch to the other side. Oh, that feels good. Take your time with it. This is really about mobility and flexibility here. And obviously warming up through the legs. Give me one more, then I want you to get your mat. We're gonna get down for some bird dogs. So get down on all fours, if you have already got your mat down, and start to give me a bird dog. One foot and the other leg out, or one foot and another arm out. <laughs> Lift, waking up the back side of your body. Switch sides, right into it. This is the perfect opportunity to practice your abs vacuuming. Pull that belly button in, squeeze yourself from the inside out. Nice, now lay down, we're gonna do dead bug. Arms start up here, legs start bent. Lower one arm and one leg at the same time. And again, continue to practice your abs vacuum. As you extend the arm and leg, don't allow your belly button to pop up. Keep pulling it in, pressing your back into the mat. Nice. Oh, good job, everybody. Hang in there. Okay, go ahead and roll up. Keep this handy. We're gonna be using it in a little bit. And we, my fit friends, are gonna go ahead with, you know, heavier dumbbells. We're gonna start with a bear crawl. So you're on all fours with your knees hovering. And as we crawl, we're gonna pick up the weights and row the weights. We'll go forward for a couple reps and then backwards for a couple reps. We're going for 40 seconds of work. Okay, so you're going to pick it up row, put it down in front. Nice. And now back it up. Good job, good job. Fifteen seconds, you have time for a quick sip of water. We're gonna do a lunge and a curl. A rear lunge with a curl. Chest open, shoulders back. Rear lunge, curl at the top. Rear lunge, curl. Woo! 
Ooh, these are heavy for curls for me. I'm gonna do my best. Whew. Nice work. Rear lunge, curl. Rear lunge, curl. Almost there. Nice. You're gonna lay down. We're gonna be leaning back. Now, if you have a Pilates ball or a medicine ball, you can lean back on it, or you can roll up your mat, right, to kind of support your lower back there. You're gonna do a leaning back chest press. So, lean back, push them straight up and down. And I'm gonna go to one weight. It's really heavy for me. Nice. Press it straight up from your chest, out diagonally, up in front of your nose. Keep it up, keep it up. Whew. 10 more seconds, come on guys. Okay, 40 seconds to rest. And then we're gonna do those three exercises all over again. And again, this circuit came from Eric Lasia. You can find him on Instagram with the handle at Primal Swolger. Okay. I really enjoy following him. He puts out some great content. So, check him out. If you don't already know who he is, many of you probably already know who he is and probably already follow him. We're going in seven seconds. We're gonna do that bear crawl with the row. Get into that bear position, knees hovering. Row, put it down in front and walk up. As I'm rowing and crawling, I'm trying to keep my hips stable. I'm trying not to twist. I'm gonna back it up now here. Good job, good job, come on. I'm gonna make a quick switch to slightly lighter weights for those curls. Rear lunge and curl. Get ready. Shoulders back, chest up. Rear lunge and curl. Nice work. Great. Do your best. Whew. So with the rows and the curls here, we're getting for the upper body some pulling muscles. Our second circuit that was coming from Ashley Horner, it's got pushing exercises and planks. It's all from a plank position. So we're gonna get our push muscles. <laughs> Okay, I'm going to my heavier weight, just one of them. I'm gonna have my mat rolled up, support my back. So let me show you another way. If you have a Pilates ball, this is a medicine ball. You can use a medicine ball, a Pilates ball too. Again, and it's just to kind of support your lower back as you lean back. If you're more advanced, you don't have to have anything supporting your lower back. And you can just be Work in those core muscles like crazy to hold yourself in this diagonal position. Take it there if you can. Press, press. It's an inclined chest press here. Let's go, let's go. Come on, three, two, one. Okay, there is our 40 seconds of rest and recovery. Oh. Sip your water, walk around in your spot. It's an active recovery, right? I'm gonna bear crawl starting down here this time. 
All right, this is the last set. Best set of this circuit, right? Just one more of these and we're moving on to a new circuit. Three new exercises. Bear position, pick it up row, put it down in front of you. And again, try to keep your shoulders and your hips stable. Not twisting too much as you go. Keep working, keep working, come on. You got this. Less than 10 seconds, don't give up. Quick transition to my lighter weights. I have 17 pounds in each hand here. <sighs> Rear lunge and curl. Let's go. As you curl, keep your elbows in close to your body and keep your body upright and straight. Please keep a nice neutral spine. I don't want you hyperextending and arching your back. If you find yourself doing that, it probably means the weights are too heavy. Go to lighter weights. Whew. Come on. Ah. You got this, guys. Whew. Three, two, one. Okay. Whew. One heavier weight. I like to. I think I'm gonna use the med ball again instead of my mat to support my lower back as I lean back. Okay, press it out. Check your core, check your belly button, pull it in. Stay really engaged. Woo, shoulders, chest, triceps getting this pressing motion. And we're gonna get some more pushing here in this second Whew. circuit that's gonna happen in just a bit because we have less than 10 seconds of this exercise to go. Come on, keep going. Nice. Okay, you have a full minute to rest and recover. You can get your ball out of the way if you're using it or lengthen out your mat if that's what you were using. You can get these out of the way. We won't need them again until the final circuit. So, this circuit again is from Ashley Horner. She posted these exercises on her Instagram page. And whew, we're gonna start with a push-up combination. Beginners. When we do the push-up, you just go to your knees, right? Or you can have your hands elevated. So the hands elevated, you're just gonna do a push-up and a tap. You won't be walking your hands back, obviously. So beginners, you can look like this. Push up from your knees, walk your hands back, tap, tap, walk your hands out. Everybody else, you can just do that traditional Push up from your feet. Just a couple walks in and out to hike your hips up. Tap, tap. Walk out into that plank. Push up, walk it back a couple. Tap, tap, walk it back. Good job, good job. Keep it up. <laughs> walk it back out, one more push up. Oh! Okay, shake it out, but don't get up. We're gonna do a low plank hip dip. I want you to imagine your hips drawing a rainbow. So you're not keeping them low and just going side to side. Think about lifting them and crunching your tailbone under and crunching your abs as your hips go up. So over, draw a rainbow. Tuck your tailbone under, crunch as your hips go side to side. See the difference between this and drawing the rainbow? Drawing the rainbow forces you to crunch those abs, <laughs> which we wanna get more of that ab work in here. 
Shoulders are still working. Good job, good job, come on. Come on. Oh, shake it out. Okay, we're gonna do a commando with toe taps. So I actually want a little bit more cushioning for my shoulders and my forearms, I should say. My elbows and my forearms. So start here, go down, up, tap the toes, tap the toes. Forearms, hands, tap, tap. Good, just like that. As you tap, again, avoid twisting too much. Keep it up. Come on, come on. Five more seconds. Oh, okay. Walk it off, you have 40 seconds. So you hit your breath, sip your water. Oh, it's a challenge, but you are made to accomplish challenging things. Remember, modify before you quit. If you ever need an extra break, pause the video, count to 30, and then get right back into it. You have options. Whew. Okay, five seconds, four. Get into your push-up position on your knees or not. Push up a couple hand walks back, tap the shin, Tap the shin. Walk it back out into that beautiful plank. Push up. Good. Nice. Oh, just keep pushing, just keep pushing. <laughs> Oh, we're almost there. Give me one more push up. Oh, shake it out. Getting ready for those low plank rainbow hips. As you draw that rainbow, you have to crunch your abs, tuck your tailbone under to really engage those abdominals. So think about that. From the side, draw that rainbow. Draw the hips up and over. And it's okay if your hips don't hit the floor every time. That's okay. Squeeze the abs, tuck the tailbone under as you draw that rainbow. Oh, come on. I am sweating. Long sleeve shirt was not a good choice. <laughs> In these winter months, it's, you know, a little bit colder when you come out into your house in the morning. It's definitely not cold anymore. Commando and toe taps. Really quickly, I'm gonna give myself extra cushion for my forearms. Okay, start at the top. And again, beginners, you can do your commando and then tap your quads or your thighs instead. You can be from your knees like this, beginners. Tap, tap, that's okay. The trick is to not let your hips twist too much throughout. Keep it up, keep it up. Nice. Okay. 40 seconds. Catch your breath one more time with that. All right, all right, all right. Hooey. Are you ready? In 12 seconds, we're gonna go. Push up, walk back, tap the shin, tap the shin. Your killer mindset, last set. 
Best set of these, let's go. Push up, walk it back, tap, tap. Walk it forward, give me that beautiful straight body line in that plank and that push up. And then you hike your hips up as you walk back. Keep that belly button pulled in, right? Don't forget about your abs vacuums. And it's not gonna be the tightest contraction, the strongest contraction with the abs vacuum. It doesn't have to be a maximal contraction, right? But just think about it, keep squeezing it, keep that engagement. Oh, okay. I'm gonna go ahead and already give my hips, not my hips, my forearms some extra cushion here. Rainbow hips. Let's get into our low plank. Beginners, you can be on your knees if you need to, remember. Crunch as you draw that rainbow. Come on. goodness that 40 seconds seemed like a long 40 seconds did it seem long to you it did to me that's okay all right commandos with the toe taps get ready starting that beautiful plank let's do this down up tap tap if it's too hard for you to tap you could go like this I should have showed you this a while ago you can just tap the knees down like this if picking up the hand and the leg together are too, is too hard. Oh my goodness, I'm feeling it, but I'm not giving up. Oh my goodness. We have a full minute to rest. Okay, so we might fit friends. We just have two exercises in this little circuit, but it's like three exercises because the first one is a rotational lunge and we're gonna do 40 seconds per leg, okay? I'm sorry, 30 seconds per leg. All right, rotational lunge. And then we're gonna do a push press, bring it down, high pull combo for a full minute. So. Just those exercises, three times through, one minute per exercise, well, 30 seconds per leg for the rotational lunge. Okay, so I have my weights here. I just need one weight for the rotational lunge. So with the rotational lunge, start facing me. Rotate back, sit into your lunge, come forward just like that. There you go. You're twisting and then landing into that lunge. It's kind of like you're landing into a side lunge. So it's a rotating side lunge, right? You're not going out straight to the side, you're rotating back. Great, a couple more on this side. Nice, ready? Same thing, other side. Shoulders back, abs in. Let's rotate and lunge. Great. If you can, get that weight to tap the floor, but you don't have to. So these exercises I made up, I put together. How are you liking it? I want you to think about which circuit was the most challenging for you today. Which one had the exercises that were pretty challenging for you? And comment below once we're all done. I want to know which circuit kicked your butt. Okay. So I have two heavier weights because we're doing a push press. Actually, I'm going to 17 pounds per hand, not the heaviest. Okay, get ready. So push press, bring it down, high pull, 
with the high pull, elbows go wide out at shoulder level. Nice. You could do a hang clean and then a push press and then down, high pull. Hang clean, push press, nice. Oh, okay, I had that divided up. I think we were supposed to do that one arm at a time maybe, because I had it divided up 30 seconds, 30 seconds and I forgot. That's okay, we'll just keep going like this. High pull, hang clean, push press, bring it down, high pull. Burning out the shoulders here. Oh. Okay. Bring it down. 40 seconds to rest. I'm going to grab one of my weights to be heavier again for those rotational lunges. How are you doing? Sip your water. Oh. Mind over matter, positive thoughts. You can do it, even if you modify. Even if it's too much and you're just marching in place while I'm doing the exercise, that's okay. Just keep moving while I'm moving. All right, let's go rotational lunge. Oh, I need it in the other hand. Here we go, rotational lunge. And bring it forward. Oh, nice. As you lunge back, keep your spine long, right? Keep pinching your shoulder blades back away from your ears so you have a long neck and a long spine as you sit into that lunge. Ready? Same thing. Other side, let's go. Nice. You got this. Yeah, yeah, keep at it. Just keep going, we're almost there. Less than 10 seconds here with this interval. Okay, so we're gonna do it one arm then the other this time for this set. All right, hang clean, push press, high pull. With the high pull, the elbow just needs to come out to shoulder level. Think about imagining how far away from your body you can pull it out at shoulder level, okay? So, hang clean, push press, bring it down, high pull. Hang clean, push press, bring it down, high pull. There you go. Ah, nice. Get a really good pace going. Come on, almost there. Woo. Okay, switch to the other side. Get ready, get set, hang clean, push press, high pull. Nice, come on fit friends. There you go. Oh, almost there. Almost there. Come on. Okay. 40 seconds to rest. And then we're on to the final set of this circuit and of this workout. Okay. So with that rotational lunge, I want to, you to see how deep you can sit into the lunge. I don't wanna just see this. I want you to take the time, slow it down if you need to. Really sit into that hip, sit into that hip. You should feel a nice stretch in your inner thigh. Okay, get ready. Get set, abs in, chest up, smile on. Let's go. Take time to sit deep into that lunge. Come on. Oh, 
Nice. We are so close. Don't give up on yourself. Okay. Switch into the other side. Abs in, chest up. Let's go. Sit into it. Bring it up. Sit into it. And return. Nice. 15 more seconds. Whew. Less than 10 seconds to go. My fifth friends, you are doing fantastic. And the light is at the end of the tunnel. We're almost done. Come on. Whew. 30 seconds per arm. Hang clean, push press, high pull. Okay, hand on your belly. Give me a big inhale. Exhale, pull it in. Okay, hold that engagement. Here we go, hang clean, push press, high pull. Hang clean, push press, high pull. Keep going, just like that. Whew. It's hard work, but that's why we come together, right? We put the hard work in now to reap the benefits. We want a strong heart and lungs. We want a healthy body composition because we're building lean muscle mass. That helps keep our metabolism healthy, right? And for all my middle-aged ladies, if you're middle-aged out there with me, it's so important, right? If you're not careful, we start to lose a certain percentage of muscle mass and lean body mass from the time we hit about 30 years on and older. So ideally you have the habit of lifting weights and doing resistance training well before you turn 30, right? But it's never too late. It is never too late. People in their nineties could start lifting weights and their body will respond and they will reap the benefits. So with that being said, let's stretch out. Give me a big inhale. Exhale, I'm gonna take my feet a little bit wider. Dive down to the center there. Keep your legs nice and long. Keep your spine straight and long. Feel those hamstrings. And now let's walk it over and then let's twist and look up. Open up the chest. As you twist over, pull yourself over to that leg. Nice. Oh, that feels good. Walk it over to the other side. <sighs> Wiggle those fingers. Nice. I want you to go ahead, take your arms out to a T, palms up, and then pull the arms back like you're trying to get your thumbs to touch together behind you. Expand through your chest and the front of your shoulders there. Oh, that feels good to open up through the front of the body there. And take that right arm across, stretch your rear delts. So in the first, in the first um, circuit when we did the rows, the rear delts helped with that. And then the high pulls we just did worked your rear delts. So we're stretching the back of our shoulders there. Same thing, other side. Oh, that feels so good. I feel so good, so accomplished getting this workout done. I hope you do too. Shake it out. Give me one more nice big inhale. And exhale. And now give me those virtual high fives, everybody. One more Circus Sweat Fest in the books. Tomorrow we have arms and abs with just a touch of cardio. Be ready for that. Check in on Instagram. Make sure you're doing your six goals. Be as consistent as you can. Try to be just a little bit better than you were yesterday with your goals. Got it? All right, until we meet again, I want you to always remember, no excuses, no regret, just sweat. Bye everyone.